everyone, this is Ben with Boy J Tech again. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing an app called Got It. Uh, the developer for this app messaged me and asked if I uh, wouldn't mind uh, doing a, a video review of his app and uh, I said yeah no problem and I'm kinda glad he contacted me because uh, this is a this is a cool app that I hadn't even heard of before and um, I like some of the functionality of it uh, this is a basically like a note-taking app um, that you can sync with Google Tasks and you can have reminders and you know a couple other functions that go with it so uh, let me go ahead and open the app here alright so this is the main screen you come to when you open the app uh, if you want to create certain lists or categories or whatever you want to call it uh, to keep your notes organized if you come down here manage lists you can create a new list alright so say if you want to have uh, say shopping when you have your pull down up top now you'll have these different uh, lists that you can uh, add notes within within these lists so you can kind of categorize how you want to arrange everything and if you want to add a note all you have to do is push the plus sign and then ask for a title uh, let's see I'll put uh, grocery and then my note I'll just put uh, buy milk again uh, and the cool thing about this you can you can specify it to a, a due date click on that uh, you can flip through here and just kind of go through and set a specific date uh, that you want to have this remind you and then one of the cool features I like about this app is the uh, add reminder. If you click that, um, you can actually set a notification to go off at a specific time. If you click the time, you can adjust it right here to uh, go off whenever you want uh, an audible reminder uh, for whatever task you're trying to do. So, um, all right, now if I just click the check mark, that adds the note there and you can just keep adding you know, push the plus sign as many times as you want to uh, keep adding multiple notes um, if I go into the settings here's some of the options here if you go into synchronization uh, you can that first one says Google Task Sync uh, if you check that and then click to switch account you can actually log into your Google account and if you have uh, tasks saved on there it will go ahead and sync up with them and then download them straight to this app to where you can view them and set up reminders or uh, notifications anything you want to do with that and then uh, there's a couple other options on here too background sync uh, sync on app start sync on changes so it offers you know different me methods to be able to sync uh, you know based on your preference all right if we go to appearance these are a couple of options here. Um, there's check boxes. You know, for each note that you make, you can put a check next to it. To, uh, I guess uh, signify that that task is done. You can hide that. Uh, you can hide the notes. Hide due dates. Uh, the sorting on. This is different ways you can sort your notes. The order, ascending or descending. All right, and then notifications. This is where you can pick your ringtone on sound. You can have it vibrate, set the priority, and then the group on list. And then if you get the paid version of this app, uh, you can unlock this passwords feature right here. Uh, that's basically if you want to keep your notes password protected. So if anybody picks up your phone, you don't want them to see your notes, you can just have a password on there, which is kind of cool. Alright, let me go back. Alright, so now that we got the got a note entered in here, if I go back to my home screen, have my dash clock widget here. Uh, this does have a dash clock widget extension. So if we go into the settings, and I want to add another extension. If I got it free, shows up right there. Click that. 
and that's settings right here. And, uh, you know, you can specify what uh, list you want to have displayed on your uh, on your dash clock widget. So I'll just click all. Uh, limit to tasks due at the latest. Uh, so basically, I guess this is saying. Uh, what task do you want to show up on your dash clock widget? Something that's within a day or two days, next seven days? How far out do you want uh, the widget to look at your tasks? Okay, and then uh, go ahead and back back out. And there you go. See, now I have the tasks, uh, grocery, buy milk. So that's kind of cool that, it, that the extension works with this as well. There's also an actual widget that you can add to your your screens. If you go into widgets, scroll over to got it free. Uh, there's this three by two widget right here. Go ahead and drop that in there. And uh, when you when you put it on the screen, it'll ask you you know these different settings, kind of like the dash clock settings, uh, how you want it to look. So you just set it to your preference. Push OK. And there you go. And you can hold it down and resize it uh, with Nova Launcher. And if you have multiple um, multiple notes on here, the cool thing about this widget is it'll it'll actually scroll uh, through these little tiles of, uh, of each one of your your tasks that you have. So that's, that's really cool too. Um, if I go back to the widgets, this got it free one by one you attempt to put that on there with the free version then this notification comes up and says this is actually a function of the, the paid version and then it gives you the option to buy down there at the bottom right All right so overall this is a this is a cool app I like uh, reminder apps note apps uh, stuff like that I like how he integrates the um, syncing with Google tasks so if you get on your PC and try and uh, add some tasks on there, it'll automatically sync to the to your device and then show up within this app. Uh, that's that's pretty cool. And then the reminder function is really nice too. It's a, it's an easy setup. You know when you go in there and uh, you just click on the event, you want to add a reminder. It's like boom, it's right there. Uh, it's a little more simplified than having to deal with the actual uh, Google Calendar app. It seems that app is a little bit there's more steps you have to go through to be able to add a reminder this is real basic and simple and uh, right to the point so uh, <clears throat> another thing you can do is is when you're on the screen here if you long click the actual task it'll give you the option you can share it you know with whatever apps you have that are shareable uh, the middle one is copy to clipboard and then the other one is if you want to delete it back out and that's basically it um, this is a this is a cool app I'm gonna probably start using this one uh, now that I know about it hopefully it'll start getting some more attention uh, but anyway if you uh, want to leave any comments uh, below feel free and I'll put a link to the the Play Store uh, where you can access it directly from this video and uh, if you found this video helpful then uh, please hit the thanks button and thank you for watching.